Average pit time 25. Why is it 23 with a green flag? Wouldn't that be the normal? Anyway. Let's go racing! We went racing, Michael. We went racing. We have clear weather tonight as we look at the drivers in their grid positions. Did Ferrari there give Lech the wrong tires in Q3? Magnuson. Yes. And it's Schumacher as the second driver today. Oh yeah, my pit crew sucks at changing tires, yeah. They'll have their work cut out for them. The race start is mere seconds away. I don't know if it, I don't think a one stop was viable here. Are we gonna test in the scrap? With the Bahrain Grand Prix. It's lights out and away we go! Looks like the front runners have had a pretty slow start. I would love to be able to like mouse wheel around here, get a top down view. Get different versions. I mean, I guess the closest to a top down is this, and you can't zoom in. Like, I would like a little bit more camera stuff. And again, I think it's sort of consolitis, right? Not being able to kind of roll things around, unfortunately. So we're in tenth and sixteenth. We'll uh, we'll keep an eye on K Mag over here. Um, do we just do the? That's we're here. Looks like he's falling behind a little here, unfortunately. Yeah, Joe's ahead of him. But we're coming into the corner on the inside, which is probably going to be pretty good for K-Mag. Yeah, he gets it back. So, that's us. Yeah, the Alfa Romeos are a similar color. Racing Joe. Okay, we're ahead of Joe. That's good. Schumacher hasn't lost position either. Okay, good job, Cam. That's why. Oh, we're right on Alonso's tail here. Nice overtake. Schumacher passed Ricciardo. There, we'll get the we'll get the replay. All eyes on Kevin Magnuson here. On Kevin Magnuson? No. Okay, it's showing us the uh, the uh, overtake against Joe here, which isn't what we were caring about. And they clear it. I was hoping it would show us uh, Shumi. Okay, at what point do we stop pushing our tires so much? Maybe what we do is we go back to the standard tires now, and then wait till DRS opens, and then we push again. We could have, I guess we could have monitored tire temps and get an idea if we're like overheating or not, but yeah. We're not going to go too aggro right now. It's like real TV, F1 TV direction, right? Yeah. Keeps cutting away at the wrong time, showing the wrong highlights. Quite compressed. In real life, I think there'd be, there'd be more of a breakaway with the leaders. DRS is also going to be unbelievably powerful over here. Okay, Mag. Oh, it was right behind Alonzo, like really right up against him. Is Bill gonna stroll us? Oh yes, yeah, so here comes Stroll, exactly. Try to do some lift and coast and then focus on apex speed. We're just gonna go and be ready to push when DRS starts opening up. Let's go to times two speed. <laughs> Looks like time for commercial break and no sound of picture in picture. Yeah. Ooh. I think I, we're faster than the Alpine here. Ferrari power, baby! Oh, we almost touched! Position for Haas. Schumacher is up to 14th! Shoo me! Good job! Oh, I need to uh, put the Urs to neutral here so that we're going to have it available for when it's DRS time. Although, if we could get ahead before then, that'd be nice. Battling Kev, give more aggression. Schumacher showing that he can overtake. So it'll be third lap when DRS gets enabled, I think. Yeah, I mean, you're right. Actually, we can we can keep pushing on fuel, and we can because we can refuel it really quickly as well. Not refuel it, but we can rebuild the fuel delta really easily. So maybe I'll keep pushing here. Plus, you know, we lose some weight and go a little bit faster, which is good. Don't want to push the tires or the errors. In fact, we might want to do a bit of a. Oh, DRS is enabled now. Although we're not, we're not going to get it on this straight. No DRS light is going to be on. Yeah, no DRS light. It'd be nice if there was little markers on the map to show where the DRS zones are. I don't know if there's three. I don't know if there's one in each of the straights here. I don't think there's a DRS line here. I think it's here and here. Or maybe the the back straight? Oh, there it is! Magnuson is DRSing. Okay. Oh yeah, if you don't know, so the DRS... Um, we can actually, like, take a nice little rear view next time. Well, we should actually see it with, uh, Al Al Alonzo here. He's, uh, close enough in front. We'll actually see his rear wing open the next time there's a DRS zone. 
Same thing here. So the thing with F1 is, as safety standards um, continue to advance, cars got longer and wider, and overtaking became more and more difficult to the point where races were sort of just a procession. And the only time, there you go. See, the rear flap is open. And if we switch to our rear view here, our rear flap is open. Um, and it became very difficult to overtake with these cars because they got so much wider and aerodynamics became more and more finicky, especially the last few seasons. Um, so anyway, uh, some years ago, they decided to add this DRS thing, which is if you're within one second of the car ahead, um, you can, and in, within specific zones, you can open this rear flap in your wing, which reduces drag and gives you higher top speed on some of these straights and makes it easier for you to overtake. You still have to be fast enough that you've caught up to the advanced car. Um, and you still have to have the skill to pass. Now, some tracks, depending on configuration and the way the zones are set up, sometimes the DRS is too powerful. Sometimes it's not powerful enough. The DRS keeps getting you right up to someone and then you go into a corner and you can never overtake. So it really depends. Yeah, even if it's a lapped car. Overall, it makes the races more dynamic. It adds an element of artificiality. So it's always, it's one of those things that's always debated. It's probably overall better for like viewers and things like that to have the DRS. Yeah, the, the amount of speed added depends on the track because of the length of the straight and whatever. Because basically the cars can sort of always accelerate to this a certain point before the, the drag just kind of overcomes and the, the opening up the flap gives you a little bit more. It does gives you a little more acceleration as well. But yeah, something between 15 and 20 kilometers an hour higher top speed at the end of a straight. Okay, so the thing is there is a DRS train here because we're getting DRS, so we're going faster, but so does Alonso. What we might try to do, if we can get up close to him, I'm going to do a little Urs harvesting on both drivers. Charge on, charge on. Charge on. Copy. And then we'll go into overtake mode soon. As long as we're staying close enough that we're within DRS zone. Oh, ERS, so this is the energy recovery system. So um, it, all these cars are hybrids. They have a battery um, that charges up. Uh, there's a couple of different systems that charge up batteries and they, 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 they bring them in and ban them from season to season for different things. Um, but I think in these cars we have, do we have the engine heat one? So anyway, it generates heat from mostly braking, but also maybe engine heat. It, there's a couple of different things. But yeah, it charges up this battery and then you can use the battery to give extra oomph in your car. Um, it's really helpful for accelerating quickly out of corners and then also helping you reach a little bit more top speed. Um, so there's different strategies with it in terms of how much you charge versus how much you unload uh, and things like that. Mm -hmm. Or is the old Kurs system? Yeah, exhaust heat. Because there was engine heat, exhaust heat, and also brake recovery. Um, and I think they had all three of them last year and I only have two this year. And I think soon they're maybe even getting rid of another one. Put these both on neutral. You can do charge off. Copy. Yellow flag in sector two. Someone might have just run wide. That sounds like someone's gone wide. Norris. Okay, let's see what we can do. Are we can close on them. On the pit straight here. So, well, we've got one straight here. Right behind, we're going full tire attack. We're using our ERS in overtake mode. So there's no Durs here, but we're right on Alonzo. It did dump a lot of Urs, but we should be right on his tail. I may have needed a little bit more saved up here, because he is also going to get the, the ERS. But maybe we just have to go to driving normal here. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get be able to break through the... Um, the DRS train. Whoa! Alonzo having a crazy corner there, which also slowed us up. It, it feels like we should have been able to take advantage of that, unfortunately. Anyway, we'll set you back to neutral. Balance a little bit over here. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Came out, you coward. Viet would have done it. Yeah. Need a better run out of last corner. Yeah, maybe. Now, we can take a look at everyone's tire situation. Everyone's on soft. Interestingly, so the people ahead have been burning their tires more. 
I mean, they might be going with a different strat, right? If they're going with the uh, soft, hard, soft, or soft, hard, medium even, they're going to want to be more aggressive on their tires. But we are trying to preserve. If we mouse over here, we can get a um, we can get a nice line. This is where tire wear is, and this is where it should be based on our strat. So we can see if we've got more tire left or less tire left than expected. We can adjust our driving strategy at that point. Um, or, you know what, let's just let's keep it on aggressive, because I think we're still doing okay. We'll bring it down a little bit. But maybe maybe we can make it up through just pit strategy. Because if no one was ahead of Alonso here, we'd probably be able to overtake with DRS because we'd go faster. The problem that's going to happen is, it, like, so the person in the front, but if they keep swapping back and forth can be an issue. Ooh. Oh, this one here gives us... Yeah, there you go. Thank you. The magnified view of the tire deck. So they look kind of in line. You can see there's a little bit of an extra downslope over here from when we turned on things, like the more aggressive performance. But overall, we're kind of where we want to be. Let's take a look. Let's keep an eye on Schumacher for a sec. Let's see what his status is. Where's the intervals? So yeah, he's right behind Ocon. So both of our cars are right behind an Alpine. You know, I can probably... Yeah, you're on push. Yeah, we can keep both cars on push for fuel. I mean, they're still limited to what's going on ahead. Looks like Ocon just got past uh, Norris. Wow. <laughs> nice guy. Looked like he's kind of indoors a little bit. And I like the sort of, like, camera smear of the lights. Like, I don't like motion blurring game. That's, that's, a, that's a crutch for, like, 30 FPS console stuff, right? But the light blurring effect, that's like... It's almost like burned your retinas a little... <laughs> That's actually kind of neat. What's the difference between pace setting and fuel setting? Oh, okay, so pace is actually how aggressively we're sort of um, pushing in the corners over here. So this is how much we're pushing. So um, with a more aggressive setting here, we are um, we might be waiting a little bit longer to brake. Uh, so we might be putting a little more friction in the tires. We're certainly taking tire corners, probably at slightly higher speed, which is really the big way you dig a lot of tires. And then finally, we're going to be accelerating a little bit faster out of a corner, which uh, puts a lot more degradation into our rear tires. This is what this determines over here. Um, and it is certainly linked, the pace and this, because um, if we're doing sort of a lift and coast where... Um, before we get to the corner, rather than waiting to the last minute and, and just taking off the gas and hitting the brakes, with a bit of a lifting coast, what's going to happen is we're going to lift off the gas, let the aerodynamics slow us down a bit so we don't have to brake as hard. Um, position lost! Magnuson, I don't babysit you for two seconds and what happens? Arg. What's going on, man? Well, we'll skip to the strat. Hopefully, Romeo. our medium mediums will work out better later on. Dang. And Magnuson is... Actually, he's not going to be in DRS window. If Ocon catches up to him, things could be sketch here. So we're going to push you on more aggressive tire behavior here. Keep up the aggressive fuel. Kevin, you've got we're going to try to get back into Joe's um, DRS window so that we can DRS behind him, which would be very handy. Okay. that was a, We took that corner much better. I mean, Zhao, Joe's having to follow closely behind here, too. So he's going to lose out on that. But sometimes you'll have your, your fuel mode set to aggressive here. And you're still going to gain fuel overall. It's because you're following someone else. And so you're limited to what they can do. Which is interesting. Because I don't think Motorsport Manager had that. I think it just burned at a consistent rate. Whereas here, it really will fluctuate based on what's happening ahead of you. Okay, we are nicely in the DRS window. So I still don't want to, you know, go too crazy with the tires. Hopefully, you can do maybe some undercut things or something like that. We'll see. Norris passed me. I think he was already. I don't know. I don't remember. What's symbol next for Verstappen? This this means that Verstappen is put in the fastest lap. And in the current regulations, you get an extra point at the end of the race if you have put in the fastest lap, assuming you're also in the top 10. Now, this will change. The laps will get faster and faster as the race goes on because the fuel loads will go down quite a bit. Plus, the track gets more rubbered in. Right now, the track rubber is still very low. So, lap times will continue to improve. But there's a good chance we're stopping. We'll end up with the fastest lap at the end. It just won't be that happy. Yeah, really losing time. Well, I mean, we're staying. As long as we're staying within a second. But, I mean, we're already, like, 
our fuel delta is pretty crazy right now. We, we can still recover it. And yes, you only need to be within the DRS window at the DRS detection zone. So it's normally right before the corner. So if this is a DRS zone here, the line to test the DRS is usually right in front of it or something like that. Right, I'm going to have to balance this out a little so that we don't go too crazy, but... I just don't want to lose this train. Schumacher. Holding up over there. He's still on super aggro mode, but he's limited to what's going on in front of him. But yeah, this, this may be a little static here for now. Is the undercut powerful? So I don't know. It's a fairly long lap, so I think I think that does make it feel more powerful. Because people can't react as quickly. That being said, it's if there's a high possibility other people are gonna box before us. Um because we're gonna go a little longer on the soft stint, I think, than a lot of people who might be going to hards. But I think this next, the, it's the second pit stop that I think might be more influential. Can you do it, Mick? Now, because Ocon can't get by Norris here, which is annoying. Norris doesn't have DRS. Thank you. Get, get past him, because I think, I think we can actually, we could pass Norris if it wasn't for this DRS does. You can see there's another DRS zone here. I want, hold on. Yeah, you're still on push. I'm trying to overtake. Maybe we can do Catch something here. Copy. You've got fucked on a fuel. Okay, Ocon got past there. Now Norris will get the DRS. But maybe, yes, yes, double overtake. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Oh, he's still side by side. He's still side by side, hold on. Look at this, side by side driving. Great job. Excellent. Now let's see if we can also get past Ocon in the next DRS zone. I'm gonna keep these set aggressive here. Pass with an overtake. Yeah, baby. Like the game? Um, wow. Okay, that's with DRS on. Now the big thing is if we can get a second between us and Ocon so that he can't get us back in the next DRS zone. So I want to keep pushing, keep pushing. I'm going to go full deploy over here. Just try to put as much time as possible before the next DRS zone. Which will be in the straight over here. No, he's, he's close enough. Yeah, I know DRS, it, this, we'll put it on defend now. But yeah, deploy does drain it super fast. But I was just hoping, like, no, just, just, like, burn everything. Our fuel load should go down quite a bit because there's no one directly in front of us anymore. So we are going to be pretty aggressive on our fuel loads now. Our entire situation is still okay. Until we get a note about things overheating too much. Okay, we got a good run out of that corner. But there's, there's another DRS zone, so they can close in again. And I think that one. I don't think this is... But I think these three are. I'm not sure. But just the he's gonna keep being able to close. But I, he doesn't have the means to pass us. That's sometimes when you've got two perfectly matched cars, they'll keep repassing each other in DRS. I don't think this guy's. I don't think Ocon's car is strong enough to overtake us in the DRS zones. No yeah, well, we'll just go back to, like, neutral here. I mean, it does charge still in the brake zones. Yeah, we're, new, we're new, uh, the new conductor of the train. Wow, we did burn through a lot of extra laps of fuel there. Try to do okay. some lifting coast. Cover. Well, actually, you know what? Keep pushing. If you don't but we're going to bring the tires coast. a little bit down here. Okay. Oh, defend, 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 baby. You got this, Mick. You got this, Shumi. I gotta say, like, oh, he's so close. And with the RS open. Come on, Mick. Defend, defend, defend. Oh, Norris is actually sneaking past Ocon. Three wide. Oh, no. Oh, shit. It looked like most like we got clipped there. 
Norris with a double overtake. Damn. Ah, curses. McLaren, gain a position. Oh no. I can't. I can't push the tires more than this. Shit. The drama. All right, let's go up to double speed because this race is going to take a while. So now we're restarting being in the DRS position. And we want to make sure we stay within there. Tsunoda's right behind us, too. There you go. DRS wide open. Oh! Ocon didn't have DRS on on Norris. Wow. Uh, okay, so what we'd really like to do then is we'd like to close the gap to Norris, if possible, so that we can get DRS off him, which will help us defend off of Ocon. Again, I'm worried about, you know, overstressing the tires a little bit, but it'll be so sweet if we can get there. I don't have defend. I have neutral on right now. Oh, Ocon That's got back ahead of us. Ah, uh, womp womp. All right, you know, let's just, uh, let's just do this, and maybe we'll just stay in the train for now. We got, we got to manage. A lot of times this is when, like in F1, the races are won or lost based on pit stop strategy. And if we burn through our tires too much, it'll we'll force, we'll force to change our strategy. Which, again, the hard's not much worse than the medium on this track, so it might not be the end of the world. Wait, hold on, what was our strategy for that? Yes, soft, medium, soft versus soft, medium, medium. Yeah, if we can pull that off. Okay, yeah, we just entered the pit window. So green was the exact targeted, but we're a little ahead. Like, we could still do it here, but, uh, yeah, I've shown no reason to bring in Magnuson right now. Someone else is pitting. Hamilton's in the pits. I think you can go back to push over here with the fuel load. And, yeah, everyone is, like, yeah, Mag is right behind Joe. And then there's, but Joe is going to himself get DRS. So, yeah, it's all, it's all choo-choo training. trains all the time. I think this goes like, I think when we hit 30%, it starts to put up a warning, and I think that's what that line represents. Yeah, maybe maybe we'll do a little harvesting to make sure we don't zero out. Charge on, charge on. At least we're still in a DRS right now. We'll get a bit more of a margin. Car's getting a little warm. Now, uh, how warm are we talking about here? No, I think we're okay. I don't know how much conserving is doing. Oh shit, are we gonna get uh, overtaken there? We will go to high fuel now. Okay. Ah! Real overtake. You've got the DRS. Although so does he. Shit. Alpha Tau regained a place. All right, K Mag. Okay, I think you're gonna come in this lap. Yeah. Let's pit this lap. So we're gonna go to some fresh mediums. Oh, is the arrow specifically like the strategy one? I mean, they're exactly the same. Yeah, next pl planned compound, but yeah. They're exactly the same. Uh, we don't need to change our front wing, it's fine. Yeah, nothing for us to do, no penalties. Box, box. And while you're at it, just push the shit out of this tire here for this last lap. Box, Kevin, box. Just replace the front wing for fun. <laughs> uh, what tire did Hamilton go on to? Yeah, it's a great question. He's on the hards. There we 
go. Yeah, surprisingly no reliability issues yet. Wasn't that one lap pure? I mean, it might be, but I think it'll be okay. I mean, we're stuck in this DRS train anyway. Maybe we can bust out, I don't know. I mean, maybe we can stretch it. Go an extra lap? Can I, can I cancel the pitting? Delay pit stop by one lap. You think I can go again? Alright. But yeah, then there's the undercut. Just retire. If we can undercut the train... Yeah, no. That's what we're going for. Plus, it's a good chance we're switching to a faster tire and everything. Right? Yeah. Let's try to undercut. Just have this conversation live on the radio. Yeah. I think I like... We could go another one, but yeah. So the idea with the undercut is this, right? The eyes are driving, your tires are getting worse, 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 and you're slowing down more and more and more and more and more and more. If you... If you're behind someone and you pit one lap early, they're going on kind of slow old tires. You come out on fresh, new, faster tires do really fast, they box the next lap, and when they come out, they come out right behind you. Oh, did you see the pit crew zooming across? <laughs> now, what's disappointing is I'm really surprised, but it doesn't appear that the ERS charges a whole bunch when you come into the pit stop, which seems weird, because you'd be braking so hard. I guess there's a limit to how much you're allowed to charge each lap. That I think is two megajoules. That might be part of it. Um, I'll stick it on aggressive to just try to help with the undercut. But I don't want to burn through the tire too fast. I'm going to keep this on a triple up. And yeah, we're going to try to extend Schumacher a little bit longer here. And not push his tire anymore than this. So this will be the big question. Is... What happens when the other people ahead of us pick? Because right now we're in 18th. We are behind Stroll and Vettel, so we did come out in a little bit of traffic. But theoretically, we should be faster than them. We're still charging over here. Okay, yeah, we can put that on neutral now. I think that's going to be fine. Starts off. <laughs> Let's hope we can clear this train. Dream, but we did one overtake. There we go. Let's put it back on harvest for a sec here. <clears throat> yeah, I think you're right. Attack now. And he just, yeah. Um, Schumacher just passed the pit. We're going to put on attack and we'll get him to pit now. So, we're changing the mediums. Go. So one train is in, which might mean that K-Mag is, like, not going to get cut properly. Or maybe we can overcut. Oh, my God. What a fucking wall. That's Hamilton right there, too. Let's see how much we can fight our way through this mess. What a fuster cluck. Yeah. Use the tire now, use it up. Copy. Yeah, overtake, yeah. So that's Hamilton on fresh hards. We're in a better compound. But, you know, he's got a better car. Better driver. He's also got DRS. You know what? I don't think... I think the right thing to do here is to harvest. Pull back Charlotte on the tires. Go for that. So Hamilton's through. Now we'll do the overtake on uh, Vettel. Probably fairly early. Harvesting does slow you down. Well, it means you're not getting as much push. 
But we're probably still faster than the Vettel. So the idea is we don't need the ERS to stay right on top of him. And we might not even need him to o need it to overtake him. But in any case, we'll charge some up now so that we can dump some for the definitive overtake in a little bit. All right, Shumi's boxing. Yep, understood. Oh, blue flag in sector three, and or yellow flag. Look at that! They've run wide! Oh, Ricky. I like how we've got it on uh, charge. <laughs> He's not charging. He's still trying to... Oh! Is that Schumacher coming out? Oh my god! Oh, that was Joe. All right. There he is, yeah. Because I know he's about to come out. Wait. Yeah. Exiting pit lane. Okay. Yeah, he's not out yet. Never mind. Another court work on the Lonzo and Zhao. Nice. Okay. Okay, neutral. I'm going to put you on deploy. Or, sorry, on neutral. They're damn close, and Vettel does Shots not off. have DRS. So we should be able to overtake him easily. He's still going to use ERS here, even if we don't put him in overtake mode. It's going to be fine. 3.6 seconds, realistic stop time for has, yeah. I mean, it is our worst stat. Alright, DRS is open. This is a short DRS zone, though. Yeah. No overtake here. We'll probably have to wait for the pit straight. Sunday was your birthday, Will. William, happy birthday. Yeah, I think we'll just blast past them on the uh, pit straight here. So yeah, stay behind, harvest until near full, then go crazy and push hard. Yeah. You know what? Let's bank some harvesting on Nick. If we don't do it here... Then we'll harvest through this lap with uh, Mag. But yeah, no, he's doing the overtake there. Excellent. And hopefully we leave Vettel behind. Good job. I can still push the fuel. That's going to be okay. Oh, party with the sushi! Thank you! Hooray! Perfect timing with that great overtake, too. All right, we're a while behind uh, Bottas with Magnuson. There is... That must be Bottas. That's 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 definitely an, an Alfa Romeo. Is that really two seconds? It looks like we're so much closer. Um, wow. All right. Okay, that's fine. Guten Appetit. Timer set. Thank you, Essentia. All right, ERS fully charged. Let's keep... Let's take an eye on... Um, all right, Alpha Tari up there. That's Sonoda, and yes, we're quite close behind. We might be able to overtake here. It'll probably be the next one, but let's go ahead and throw you in overtake mode. Charge off. I'm still going to be kind of careful with the tires here. Okay, this corner, this hairpin, into DRS, and we're right on his ass! So that white line there, I think, was the DRS detection zone. Here's the DRS activation. Might be wrong about the uh, detection. Oh, yeah, easily blow by him. Just go to neutral here. You're going to be fine. Wonderful. Next target is uh, Norris, who's 1.5 seconds away. It'll be interesting to see if we close in on that. Magnuson has caught up to Bottas very nicely, so we're going to go back to babysitting over here. Let's harvest a little. A new race position for Haas. Ooh, assuming we can stay inside the DRS window. Yeah, I've Why did the... Oh! Vettel boxed! Okay! Wait, I'm confused. Ocon's boxing. There we go. Okay! Timer's got a little weird. DRS is open. What's our interval? Update the interval time. Okay, good. Charging, charging, charging. Okay. I think everyone's pitted at least once. Uh, we can do it from there, but we can also... Pits one. Yeah, everyone has been boxed one time. Most of the field on hards, a few on mediums. We really have to be overtaken with the mediums here. Well, 
I mean, we're not making any extra pit stops, I suppose. But the idea is, hopefully, the mediums allow us to do some overtakes. And especially a lot of these guys are going to be on softs in their final stints, so we might get re-overtaken at the end. Charging, charging, charging. How is Schumacher? Oh. Position lost. P15. Damn it. That's a position gained for Alpha. Well, we're switching back and forth. There you go. Oh, no, that's the old message. It's a little bit late with that, but sure. I'm trying to take turns. Let's charge isn't really as chargey as I'd like here. You're on neutral. You are right behind. There's still a DRS train going on here. Okay. Go to overtake. Go to overtake. Uh, Mag's fairly fine, far behind Bottas here. I'm happy to maybe throw on the overtake just to try to keep him in the DRS window. Because I don't think he's going to overtake this lap. No. Shumi? Oh, so close! Oh! Squeezed him outside! I think they're both going to get DRS here. Yeah, okay, have to charge, do a little charge. charge on. Didn't quite pull. Oh! No, um, no DRS for Ocon. Oh! Uh, oh! Shumi! Terribly handled, man! That was... Man! There was such a good opportunity there. Alright, let's go back to Magnuson. Charge on. Copy. The difference between overtake and deploy? Presumably with overtake, they're trying to use it a little bit more strategically in time. Because they both can consume up to two megajoules per lap. They're both permitted there. But with deploy, you just like you just put it on and leave it on. With overtake, you're trying to time it. Yeah, I'm okay with the fuel level right now. It, it recovers shockingly fast. Oh, did I put it on deploy? I don't think that's what I meant to do over here. Good job. Alright, yeah, we're mostly gonna have to do some charging up. Charge on, charge on. I'm trying, to, I, I definitely want, uh, so yeah, Shumi, Shumi got his position back, that's great. And Tanoda's just barely ahead of him, too. With Mag, I need to stay within Bottas's window, but other than that, if I can manage on balance, that would be okay. We got no threat behind us, I guess it's less critical. Maybe I'll go ahead and do that. Let's take a look at Shumi's situation here. So yeah, he does have to charge up a little bit. He's still going full fuel. You can see he's got, like, positive delta here, despite being on push with the fuel. Right behind Norris. He's behind Sonoda. And yeah, Joe can't DRS. So A, or sorry, um, I'm getting confused about things. Alonzo can't DRS. And Sonoda can't DRS, yeah. So the train split up a little bit. And that's what you usually see in these things. Oh, wow. Saints and Verstappen. My God, if this were an actual race on TV, what is going on at the front here? That's crazy. I mean, I'm loving our mid, uh, midfield battle, but wow. Been that way the entire race too? That's incredible. You don't tend to see that. Things tend to spread out. Okay. Schumacher's tire is better, which makes sense. Yeah. Because he's got to make it last a little bit longer to go into the softs, whereas Mag doesn't. Looks like we're kind of bang on tire wear with both strategies, so that's good to see. We're looking at Schumacher right now. Yeah, we're, we're charging ERS on both. I don't think there's much strategic stuff I'm going to throw in. Magnuson still within the ERS window to bot us. That's good. But yeah, we're going we're gonna to go ahead and lift and coast a little bit here, just to say. If there's an actual race on TV, Saints would lose to Ferrari Strat fuck up. That is accurate. Ferrari needs a special rule where they just have some RNG to their strategy. Wait for Saints' engine to explode. That too. Poor guy. 
any of, you're not on full, like we're trying to recover as much as possible, but there's limits to how much you recover. So this is sort of semi slowly building up here. And they're still using some. Oh, Schumacher's almost not in DRS window. Oh, because Tsunoda is DRSing ahead. That's fine. We'd probably still be within a window to Norris, who doesn't have DRS. And actually, we closed in there a little. Because, yeah, Tsunoda's being held up. He's like, oh, I can't pass. So it's actually allowing us to keep closed a little bit there. And then, yeah, these heavy braking windows, that's what we really charge the hell out of the Urs. Uh, maybe we'll go to full charge, actually. And charge off. Um, K-Mag, you still okay? Not much. Why don't you just go to neutral and just kind of coast there for a little bit? Charge off. Got Don't it. charge, so you get a little bit more speed. But just stay comfortable, because you're not really that tight. It's getting a little warm. Well, you should be okay on that. We'll keep an eye on things, see if there's any more messages. Bum, 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 bum. Brum, brum, brum. So as a reminder, um, we are going to be going to Motorsport Mondays again. Ooh. Okay, I just, I was just in the DRS window. Just in, I just did the, I just crossed the test line for DRS before we, uh, we got past one second, which is scary there. So yeah, Motorsport Mondays is going to be a thing that's returning. We are going to be playing this game, F1 Manager, on Mondays. Uh, the Saturday thing is a one-time. So Mondays are going to be back to Motorsport Wednesdays. Wednesday, for now, it's going to be World War Wednesdays, where we're renewing Civilization. And then next Saturday will probably be a return to RimWorld. Lando just being a nuisance. Still hoping for sort of... Okay, we should charge a bunch at the end of this straight. This is back on the menu. Yeah, we started Civ 4 last week. Oh, shit! I mean, he didn't have DRS, but... Now he's going to have DRS, so now the situation is going to be inverted in front here. But we got lots of charge. Let's go to neutral for now, because we don't need to overcharge. Charge off. Oh, we actually fell behind. We would have been out of DRS zone there. Okay, you know what? Throw some overtake. We need to make sure we're within the window here. Catch up to Norris. Let's just put our head down. A you don't want to see him open his rear flap without us doing it. Well, that's almost... A, okay, we're within the zone. That was the DRS uh, test line there, or this one is one of them. For this stretch. Now, Norris is going to get the DRS, but so are we. How are we doing with uh, Mag? All right, still just chilling back there. Cool, groovy. All right, we're right on his ass. We'll catch these guys. Let's catch them. Push hard coming out of this corner into the DRS zone. We actually might be able to get past Alcon here. It might be a double overtake of Alcon. Oh yeah, and then Scandinavia for U4 is getting updated. Yeah, when is that gonna happen? Car is getting a little warm. Well, okay, here we go. We're on the pit straight now. A little further behind than I would have liked. Oh good, we were catching up before the DRS stuff happened. So we actually got a better exit out of that. The problem is we've got this wall ahead of us. Come on! Ugh! Where are your ovaries, man? Come on! Very disappointing. We're gonna have to pull back on our tires here. Not a DRS zone. Oi. We need to back off. <laughs> Reminds me of trying to change lanes with 401. Yeah. That was a fail. He really should have gotten past Ocon. I don't think his overtaking skill is as good as we'd like. Maybe his aggression's not high enough. I don't know. That's K Mag. Still basically static over here in this little train. Oh, the Russell's caught up to Hamilton, I think. Wasn't, wasn't there a big gap between Russell and Hamilton? Then, did Hamilton box again? No, that wouldn't make any sense. What the hell happened there? Wow. We got so much extra fuel because we're following these slow cars effectively. Alright, well, let's try harvesting again. So we just need to go charge on the slip. 
I'm gonna charge you two. We'll see if we can get into the Charge all. Then we go back to charge neutral it. with a higher number. Okay, like that. Charge off. Cover that. Gasly overtook them, but when Gasly is ahead there, wow. Wow. Falling out, of, falling out of DRS zone then? Come on. Nikki. Okay, yeah, we're not going to have DRS off. on this one. I mean, neither will Norris. But Ocon behind us. Am I getting confused about who's where? Charge on, charge on. Copy. Sector 2, yellow flag, someone probably ran a little wide. We'll get a note about who that was soon. So checking in on K-Mag. I think there's been a lockup. Oh, it was Ocon! Although he's still quite close to Schumann. Yeah, some of these, yeah, I mean, that's not a run wide, it was just a minor lockup. Mods removed the crypt pads. Yeah, nothing yet. No mods yet. Yeah, you still need to recharge. We'll leave you there for a bit. Keep an eye on Mag. Yeah, who's just following this train? I might be kind of happy about it. Thing DRS, saving some tire. Yeah, tire load is fine. With being at the back of the DRS train, we're very unlikely to overtake, but on the other hand, I mean, we're in the points. Oh, we're ninth. Very nice. Yeah, Joe quite far behind. I mean, it'll be a big question of the next stint. I mean, night for some time, yeah. He's paying a lot of attention to Schumacher. He's used to uh, K-Mag being in 10th. Uh, but yeah, I think our undercut worked really well. Because did we undercut both Joe and Alonzo? That was very nice. Yeah, I think the toe might be modeled. I think, yeah, I think they're, they're overtaking AI might, it might be possible to improve them a little bit more because they do seem to move to the side and then sort of lose all their oomph. This ERS, ERS charging is not happening very quickly here. Yeah, but we can... I'll just keep uh, K-Mag on neutral for now. Because, yeah, what'll probably happen, even if he overtakes Botas, Botas will probably just overtake him again at the next ERS zone. So we'll just sit back there for now. No need to push anything else. And just try to uh, see if we can get some good other pit opportunities. Okay, we do have DRS here. Good. Catching up. Norris is going to get back ahead of Tsunoda. And this this whole shenaniganry will continue. Seems, again, like a really bad corner by Schumacher. Oh, for fuck's sake! Yep. They're currently P15. To charge off. Copy. Saints in the lead over Verstappen. Harris two seconds behind. Leclerc fighting with him with the fastest lap right now. Yeah, this track is really rubbering quite slowly. It's surprising. Hostile a tractor. I mean, with these guys fighting each other, they might slow each other down a little bit more. It might be that much easier for Schumacher to kind of follow up here. We're halfway through. We do have negative fuel delta, but not in a way I'm concerned about right now. Although, if we can keep getting some sick toes here, it might not be a bad time to recoup some of this fuel. Maybe I'll put both these cars on balance, because they're both in equivalently the same situation here. The okay, tire wear is bang on. When will the Ferrari engine blow up? The Ferrari engines did really well the first few races. 
it was uh, Red Bull that had all the reliability problems at the start. Yeah, I, I'm sure it will just be one race a week. And actually, I really should not be running this in real time. We should actually, for a little while here, we should increase the speed, because I don't think there's that much action. Very likely. Ooh. Sector 2, what happened? It's whiskey and chocolate! Oh, driver ran wide. Whiskey and chocolate? Hey, no one, thank you! All these trains everywhere, I feel we should be playing Railway Manager! Yeah, Schumacher ran wide. It looks like he was okay there, though. It wasn't a crazy run wide. Actually, there hasn't been anything crazy. 100% chance of safety car at this race. Nothing so far. Okay, back to positive fuel delta. Tire's getting a little warm. Yeah, I'm not sure that's okay, though. We're in the yellow range and cooling a little here. Yeah, no, we're, we're fine, I think. Yeah, we'll just keep getting the tow and conserving and hope that translates to a more optimal pit stop window or something. Nice if we can get Schumacher up again. He's got a bunch of uh, power. We could change a strat, push on this medium, then go to another medium. Box a little earlier for an undercut to mediums as well. We could consider something like that. Oop. Let's say harvest some more now, and then you go and whip it to the max here. Saints ahead of Verstappen again. Yeah, they're having a hell of a duel up front. Boy, if only I could watch this on TV. Sector 3, yellow. Nope. All right. Nothing happens. And that's a lockup! Latifi with a lockup. <laughs> Latifi's going to, like, determine the outcome of the race at some point. So if there was a safety car now, I could probably box her hearts. How are you doing, K-Mag? Yeah, still in that position. All right, yeah, I think we're going to be really static until the next pit stop. Unless someone, you know, screws something up. Push on there, just make sure you're staying close to the, uh, the train here. But we do have a lot of uh, a lot of ERS saved up. I wonder if we can work our way up a couple of steps. I don't want to push the tire, but I'll go to overtake mode. Get ah. Okay, Schumacher, man, dude, you are you are really bad at overtakes. He actually fell so far behind, he's, he doesn't have DRS. Yeah. I think we're going to replace him with Jack Doohan. Is he Scottish? Is that what people are saying? Or Australian? Is that it? He's one of those two. He's Aussie. But the name makes me think he's Scottish. Yeah. All right, Mick's closing back in over here. Makes sense, because they're dueling, so they're losing speed over there. You're always slower when you're trying to fight another car. All right, Pint Window is active for K-Mag. Now, we could go for... You know what? I mean, we're going to look for an undercut. Let's take a look. How are the tires doing up front? Yeah, they're, they're going anyway. We don't have to push and pit early. Actually, this is probably his last lap, regardless. Well, it's hard to tell with the ticks. No, I guess we were planning on two more. 
Yeah, just go, because we're still going to box early in them for the undercut. That will come out on softs, though. Dude! I'm going to need a replay of that game. The fuck was that? See, I need time controls. This was Forza or something. Who was that that we almost slammed into? Break check. Was that bought us? Because it felt like we overtook whoever we broke check after that. At least we know the brakes work. Yeah, I'll have to check the VODs. Yeah, where's the 100% safety car? Although at this point, it would be... I mean, a safety car now would be great because that's when we're pitting. But then other people would pit and we'd sort of, we wouldn't gain anything out of most of our strategy. Yeah, I'm wondering if it was a back marker. No damage. Yeah, so we're going to do one more lap. Okay, you're back in the train. That's good. Okay, more lifting coast, please. Copy. I'm gonna do harvest here. Charge on, please. Copy. Conserve a little. Well, that doesn't make much sense. I want to come out fast, but we also need to do an okay lap here. Just don't want to be limited by whatever's going on. Okay. Go attack. Hit. Pit options. Come on, Kev. Go for that. Medium's still the idea. Okay. Box, box. The Mercedes did it. The Mercedes did it? What? What? Box, box. The Mercedes did it? What? I think the blue line here is the, the amount of energy we're getting back from our exhaust versus braking. Or, I don't know. Blue line is not the battery level. Because the battery level is this. No, you know what? I think the blue line might be the break and recharge. The regen? No, I'm not sure, actually. Maybe the break regen isn't even listed. That's possible. Oh, the blue line is the amount used so far this lap. Versus charge this lap. Oh, I see. So we've generated as much as possible so far. And we haven't used that much. Now I understand. Thanks, that's cool. Okay, well, you still have a few laps to go. Yeah, you're... This... This... I, oh. You know... Fuck it. Change of plans. We're going to go medium, medium. Because this medium is going to get super worn, I just noticed. And we might be able to uh, uh, undercut these guys. I'm gonna box next lap for mediums. Let's catch him. Copy. Is what we're gonna do. Oh yeah, you're right. You know what? The ARS for outlap does make more sense since we're probably not gonna overtake right now anyway. You're right. Just charge. Okay, charge on, charge on. Copy. Magnuson's coming in. Unless I do just pit now. Nah, we've got enough tires. But yeah, we're, we are being held up here. And that way we'll have that much better mediums for the next stint. But yeah, keep pushing these mediums. It's not a very good exit out of there. That is rough. 3.6 in the pits. Yeah, that's not fantastic. I'm gonna pause because I want to make sure as you come out here. Um, just do a full deploy as you come out, actually. Mag, because 
this is going to be tight with um, Schumacher's train coming from behind. Defend. And let's see if we can... Okay, we're out of the Arsono Sonoda. Okay, Schumacher, you're going to box this lap. You're going to go two mediums. I know that's not the strat, but that's what's going to happen. Okay. And I just want to make sure that Magnuson... Okay, yeah, he's, he's good there. So you can just go to standard and regular neutral mode. And you can keep pushing here because you've got positive fuel delta. That's going to be okay. Okay. All right. I think that was great by Magnuson. Oh, he's... he's yeah, now he's got a bunch of clear air ahead of him. And hopefully that's going to turn into... Well, if other people are pitting, we're going to want to make sure to keep pushing for the... Um, you know what? Yeah. Maybe I do go full deploy here. If you've got some margin, try to increase the pace a little bit. For the Copy. undercut. Now that I think about Good it. Push. Copy. Oh yeah, you're still being limited, so yeah, you can keep harvesting because it's not helping you pass anyway. Deploy, deploy, deploy. Two point five seconds ahead of Sonoda. Okay, I don't want to drain too much, so I'm gonna go to neutral now. Well, well, no one's bit boxed right now, are they? Uh, maybe they're... It doesn't say box. No, no, that's just another train. Yeah, so this is going to be fine. So we can just do, like, overall good rate. Let me go back down to standard. That's going to be fine. If they were boxing now, we'd have to push that much harder. But for now, theoretically, we're still just making pace. As you can hear the most aggressive things, but he's not really getting anything out of it. A little bit. He is, oh, he is boxing now, though. And yeah, mostly we're trying to charge the Urs. Generate as much charge as possible. There you go. Coming into the box. Lovely. Okay, understood. And white line, white line. Magnuson already currently in 11, and everyone ahead of him still has to pit. We're going to stream the one race and then maybe do some between race stuff. We're already three, actually. Jeez. This is going to be the whole stream. I'm going to keep this on aggressive fuel mode for now, for sure. And then with Shumi, we're going to go and put you on neutral. I don't know if we can do a full deploy. And we'll just go aggressive on tires for a little bit. Still might be a little early here, actually. Look at the predicted uh, wear. He's going to have very little medium tire left. Which is interesting, because Magnuson, who boxed first, is still going to have some. Maybe it's based... Maybe he's not as much of a smooth driver. Ooh, I didn't think of that. I probably should have loaded up the Stratmaker view, because it would have given me previews for these things. Okay, you can deploy a little. So you're three seconds behind Rick. Well, actually, then, you know what? You'll probably close. Just go neutral for now. You'll probably close on him naturally. Tires are getting warm now. Are they? No, you're fine. Okay, You'll probably off. close on him naturally. And then we'll have the Urs for the overtake. Yeah. I think we're closing on a Rick. All right. K-Mag. Oh, he's... Joe's right in front of us? Did he box? Oh. The times are weird. He's like, oh, he's point one ahead of us. Well, there's no one in front of us. Oh, I'm 10 seconds behind. I'm misinterpreting the times. Thank you. Yeah, okay. That makes way more sense. Okay, let's put you back to balance for now. I'm going to have to do some conserve at the end, but we'll see. Let's put you balanced here. 
Try okay. to some lift and coast and then focus on apex speed. Copy. That's so jumpy, what's jumpy? Is the stream quality not good? Looks okay to me. Okay. So there's no particular action right now with either driver, which is actually, I think, pretty good. Uh, yeah, Schumacher is closing in on Ricardo. That'll be the next piece of action. And then as these other people uh, pit, we might see something else. But right now, we're just trying to run for efficiency. Okay, so Joe got ahead of Alonzo. But we are closing in on whatever's going on there. Yeah, both have nice clean air. Yellow flag in sector one. Gets cleared quickly. Okay. Seems to have been a lockup. There, 1.6 seconds, so we're definitely catching up to Rick. You know what? If we're still catching up, let's just make sure to harvest some more okay, so we can do a very on, fast on. overtake. Okay, Joe's in the pit box, yes. Which should be um, the under... Oh, no, that's too big of a range. Well, I don't know. Maybe? Shit, I wonder. Oh, my food's here. Lovely. If you don't need it, no lifting coast. Oh, Rick pitted. Okay. So clear Charge air, yes. Off. No yeah, errs load. Is Joe back on track? I guess so. Alright. Back to normality. How about Magnuson? Nothing going on around there. Okay. Oh shit! Magnuson locked up and went straight on. Oh, fudge! Oh, no! Lost three positions? Fuck! We were doing so well with everything! Ah! Oh, and out of the point, just like that! That would have been worth the replay, but I didn't catch it in time, and I wish we could go back. Arrgh! Okay, Mag fired a whole new team. Okay. I'm going to deploy here. Or, no, sorry, not deploy. Neutral is what I meant to say. Yeah, the race is going poorly. Take a break. I'm going to go get my food. I just want to say, we could have looked like rock stars there. Instead, we're coming off looking like fucking wankers. I'm gonna angrily eat my sushi. My, uh. Takiyaki? Teppanyaki? What's it called? Mmm. Bankers. Bankers. Yes, you're right. How are you doing, Shumi? Oh, nothing going on there. Mag might be closing into the train ahead again. Plenty of errors on both. Fuel deltas are fine. Tires are hopefully going to be okay. Takoyaki, thank you. It's been a while. They're really hot still. It's perfect. Fresh delivery. They're so good. Mmm. Ha! 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 Ha!
hot. Hey, Okan and Tanuda, Norris, they haven't boxed yet. Alonzo Russell Hamilton. There's still some hope. But fucking hell, it cost us. Yeah, but Bot has has. Yeah. Well, this is, um, these are like these fried octopus balls. I've also got, they also got mock balls. But these fried octopus balls are amazing. I'd never had them until I put them on the treat stream, and they're incredible. Crispy outside. Ooey gooey in the middle. And then you got a nice piece of octopus in there too. Okay, so Mag is back in the fun zone. Right? Right behind Sonoda. We got a nice big charge. We're here right now, coming into the mini DRS zone. Also, we're, we are overcharging our uh, DRS here. As I said, I don't think the, uh, the overtake is going to happen there. Maybe. Did he not have DRS? <laughs> I haven't tried Mountain Oysters, but I definitely would. I know what they are. And I would 100% try them. Okay. Let's hope we're going to be right on Tsunoda's tailpipe. Coming into this last corner. Weird jerk there, as if he was going to attempt an overtake on the corner. Oh, I think we got a much better exit there. Tsunoda went a little bit wide. Oh, they're boxing! Well, let's make sure we're getting right up on Okan. And we are. He doesn't have ERS. It's interesting, but... I'll just go to neutral mode for a sec here. Actually, no. We're going to stay on overtake. Keep it the beans here. There's a DRS zone right here. Okay. Now that was a much more meaningful overtake. I mean, Okan still has the box, but still. Okay, good job. That's what. I'm going to keep sort of pushing here. Well, I guess I'll switch this to defend. Pass with an overtake! And hopefully we can clear the uh, DRS zone here with Ocon. We should be going a fair bit faster, thanks to our tires. DRS line there. How's Mick? Mick is within striking distance of Norris. Build a gap? No? Let's put that to neutral. Keep the higher fuel load going. Yeah, he's still close. He might we might get in the sort of back and forth overtaking. Okay, hey, good job, Mick. And position joint uh, gain from Mick Schumacher. Sorry we didn't see that one. Pass with an overtake there! Let's and watch take the replay. Right, watch this. There's Schumacher. Yep, just on the inside with no deer. Oh! All around the long corner. Ooh. Actually forced uh, Norris, I think, to tap the brakes, I think, to bail out of that corner. Ferrari stat made 1 2 into 3 4. Classic. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Jeez. Now. All right. Yeah, Norris is closing in. Yeah, and overtaking. 
on the DRS segment here. That's the way it's going to be. We're back in ninth with, a great overtake. with Magnuson. Now, he's still defending from Ocon. We're starting to get a little late in the race here. I might want to make sure we're balancing our fuel loads, although I'm concerned about getting overtaken in that case. No, the, the visuals the visuals are actually, like, mostly pretty good. Some of the maneuvers when they're fighting like that, there's, like, a weird sort of floatiness. Uh, oh, shit, they are... We are neck and neck here. K-Mag maintains it. Although... Was that a lockup on the track? Veta locks up. Is that the DRS line? Yeah. We actually would want it to be right behind on that DRS marker. Because now Ocon's DRS opens up and he's going to be able to pass us. If we had been just behind of that line, we'd get... Oh! Maybe he's not going to be able to overtake? Holy crap! How did he not overtake there? I have no idea. Alright, Shumi, where are you? You're still defending in Sonoda. Oh, you've got DRS. So you must have been behind for a second, then retaken it? Yeah, there we go. Oh no, you're ahead of Norris! Schumacher in 13th now! What a lad! Look at that! And the Norris might lose another position here. Let's put you on defend for now. That's a new race position for Haas. Wow. All right, Mag. Okay, nowhere close to Bottas. Still has Ocon behind him. Stable situation. That's good. There you go. Schumacher's tires are lasting longer than expected. But we're going to be fine. Because the grid was, or the chart was looking like it's going to be really bad. But we're actually okay. Magnuson just barely holding on to the defense here. Wow. Wow, what a tense race! Magnuson's the one that matters more because he's in the points. Russell in pits. Ocon, I wonder if he's going to go to the end of the race on these hards. Or he's about to box right now for sauce. There it is. Okay. Out of DRS. Oh yeah. No, actually harvest for now. Okay. So no one near K Mag. To charge on. Schumacher still has a Tsunoda and <coughs> Norris right behind him. <coughs> we are gonna have to do some uh, some saving there. Russell's back in 8th. That's who we're chasing. But I, I think he's going to be able to pull ahead. He's got fresh, soft tires. Okay, you can go back to neutral here. And charge off. Okay. And harvest some on Magnuson. Charge on. Go for that. My truck for engines on the last lap. Yeah. More lifting coast, please. Oh, that's tight. Oh. Oh. One on the inside, one on the outside. We're three wide. Was that a touch? Looked like it might have been. And Schumacher comes through this. You know what? I think you can be more aggressive on your tires. I think we okay, got some more room here. Let's just put our head down. Can we just actually... Copy. Can I get a one-second gap to north? No more lifting coast. Yeah, copy. No, he's got it before this. Okay.
He didn't have BRS. I mean, almost he didn't. He got no BRS. We need a back off. That's a lot of directions we keep giving Shumi. Poor guy's gonna get mad at me. Ten laps to go. We are gonna have to make up this deficit. Lost position to Norris there. But we might be able to flip around to a dual overtake kind of thing. Magnuson. He's in ninth. With lots of room in front and behind. So actually, since there's no pressure right now, let's just conserve a bit. Get a positive fuel delta. And yeah, you can keep uh, charging. Schumacher's got DRS on Norris. Big pass. Keep everything in the neutral zone over here, then. Okay. Yeah, I do like when the engineers, they get mad at their engineers and tell them to shut up. That is pretty funny. All right. Pass with an overtake. Indeed. So, we might get repassed here by Norris. He's right on us. And there's another, this is the big, long DRS zone over here. So we kind of expect to get overtaken again. But we might just keep dancing back and forth. And again, mixed uh, outcome here isn't totally critical because none of those places are for points. McLaren, gain a position. Okay, positive fuel delta. And you're at least balanced now. So we'll go ahead and do that and see what happens. Joe is, I think, catching up to KMAG. I'm not sure. It looks like maybe. Well, I'm going to stop harvesting. I'll go to regular ERS here. We've got enough sort of bank that we might be able to throw some defend on there. And they are, I'm certain, on softs. Oh, no, he's still on mediums. Never mind. He's on better mediums, fresher mediums. Okay, there's Mick. And he takes it back. Yeah, we're going to keep seeing a lot of it. Well, you got tons of positive fuel out there here. with an overtake there. Under your charge, it's good. Fuel's okay. Tire's looking good. Yeah, I think you can be more aggressive on your tires. Let's go, yeah, any points is kind of our goal. Okay, Schumacher's back, or Norris is back ahead. Not harvest. And McLaren with a great overtake. Let's do this. We're not, I mean, we might we might get some passes from the uh, DRS here, regardless. But I'm just gonna charge up a little bit and give us an, a, maybe a big, big push in the late game. How's Joe? 1.5 seconds. I mean, he's closing. He's gonna be in DRS range soon. There's not much I can do about that. Yeah, only the top 10 gets points. Joe's still closing in on Magnuson, but yeah, I can't I can't make him use more fuel, and really he's at he's at the the, the maximum push on his tires as well. Okay, here's the pit straight. Our DRS will open. Maybe we get ahead of Norris. Maybe we don't. Looks like no this time, and we might. Oh, I really don't want to lose a position there. DRS in this short zone, but I really want to overtake him in the big one and then just try to push like mad after that. It's a short zone. Okay. So when we come around here, it's getting low. Yeah, I mean you're still kind of okay, but yeah. Okay, go to overtake and aggressive. <clears throat> Let's see if we can leave Norris behind after an overtake here and push for a lap. Okay, DRS is open. 
Go, 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 go. Okay, we're overtaking early on the pit straight, which is nice. Might be a double overtake there. Yeah, I got tons of tire life. P12. The big thing is going to be to try to break the toe. Is that a new race position for Haas? How you doing, K-Mag? Okay, Doe hasn't closed in a little bit, which is nice to see. But yeah, we're going to push with the tires and the fuel. Keep this in defensive mode. Yeah, they have stabilized a little bit. Joe's tires have probably gotten out of the first, like, sort of sweet spot here. Let's go to times two speed. 0 0.6, 0 0.7. Yeah, except this is, so this is a short DRS. So Tenota's going to close in here. Any chance we can break the DRS here? No. And we're about to run out of uh, defensive errors, <clears throat> unfortunately. Well, we didn't give up the position, which is good. We'll just put you on neutral. I think uh, this orange dot Who's ran the wide there. there. Oh, Saints, never mind. Balanced and balanced. Okay. Come on. Defend, defend, defend. Defend. Good, 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 good. I think Schumacher's better at defending than attacking. Uh oh, Joe's right behind freaking K-Mag. Damn it. Throw on some defend for now. Which is actually a much more important little battle here. I'm not sure how we can defend against the DRS. So he might have just fallen back to charge his DRS for a little while. And there's actually two threats. We could get passed by both Joe and Alonzo here. Right on us. I feel like we're gonna get overtaken here on the pit straight. Alpine just advanced. Okay, go to neutral. And he's having to burn more fuel to defend. Oh god, what a defense there! Side by side! Come on, hold it! Hold it! Hold it! That was with DRS. Should be able to get it back here. Actually, without... I think without the uh, Looks like DRS that was help. A position gained for Alpha Romeo. As we come around the corner here, we're right close to them. So we should get the re-overtake. I would like a fixed angle, like, third-person cam. Which I know isn't realistic for, like... Oh, shit. What the fuck? I... Pass with an overtake! Like, by the time it says, pass with an overtake, we've already lost it again. Oh, that's Alonzo! Taking advantage of the action. Lap 57, Jesus. Now that's lap 57 for the leaders. We haven't been overtaken. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. We're. I think we're good. We can go in full attack. You're right. Mode push. Mode push. Copy. Short DRS. Copy. Which part of me is like, do I even want to be ahead here? But we can charge here and then put on defense mode for the long pit straight. Okay, good job. That's what. I don't want to fuel burn here. 
because we only we have barely a positive delta. Pass with an overtake there. Charge, 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 charge. Because we're not going to be able to break Alonso's DRS. <laughs> We come along here. Put That's it on a defend. good overtake from Alpine. Because he's right next to us right now. He's right next to us. Okay, this is our last lap. Charge on. Got for that. We, I think we can push and overtake him right at the end here. Oh, you're right. If the yellow bar is full, you can't charge more. There. But it also means, you know, we we might not want to deploy any. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, you can do this. We want to be ahead, I think, on the short DRS zone, because I don't think you can overtake us before the finish line on the second one. Yeah, Schumacher's doing fucking great. Is there anyone ahead of you, Schumann? No. So just put it on defend mode. Yeah, I mean, a few levels I know, right? Come on. Oh, for fuck's sake. That's where we wanted to do the overtake. Because I don't know if we're going to be able to overtake here. <clears throat> Out of DRS. I know, but leave it on defend mode. Oh, hold on. No DRS here? Overtake as is. Amazing. I'll put you on defend mode. Not that it really matters. Just hold on to it. Hold on to it. Wait, uh, this camera angle. Hold it! Hold it! God damn, it's gonna be close! He's got his wing open! Check the flag. Woohoo! Ninth place! God damn, that was tight! And Leclerc won! Verstappen third? Wow! Checkered flag, checkered flag. And Schumacher 12th? Well, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Alright. No safety car. What the hell? Someone's run wide! The TV runs wide now. <laughs> wow. Kevin Magnuson showing us how it's done. A great result. No safety car, no safety lights. <laughs> Accurate the TV simulator. Oh man. Successful day at the races. Yeah, this was a really clever bit of strategy. Mm. And it's great oh, to good. see that payoff. Who sent that? I can't wait to find out what they show oh. us next time. I can't remember. And they're in sixth place in the constructor standings at the end of this weekend. Mm. The teams now look ahead to the next round. Harduk, that's right. Out in the sand dunes of Saudi Arabia. Yeah, look, he does seem like a nice dude. All right. Yeah, and Schumacher gained four places overall. And Kevin with one. That's not bad. Oh yeah, pole to win. Sergio Perez had a great race. Saints less so. Gasly, decent one with three up. That's all right. Okay. No, I'll, I'll take this. Ah, definitely. Where's Stroll? Yeah, 18. Driver number 18. From Canada. And where does that put us in? Sixth, which is our goal overall. Okay. Yeah, Schumacher has more growth potential. Actually, that's not bad with KMAG. Um, in the... Uh, in the... Uh, Aston Martin, um, I think that Stroll has like 1.5 growth potential. And Vettel has like 0 0.5. So there's quite a range available here. Yeah, Fittipaldi, I didn't even put him in practice or anything. 
<laughs> Maybe I should have. Uh... Yeah, that'll 35. Exactly. His growth potential should be small. Younger drivers should have more growth potential than older ones. And that's basically what, what this is based on. That's not bad, because we got bonuses and everything. Oh, we got a team hub now. So, we're behind on high-speed cornering, and Mick Schumacher's not very good at defending, which sounds about right, actually. We don't have enough development points for giving anyone any skills, unfortunately. Exceeding like, expectation! Fantastic, great, strong credit to use a team principal. You're goddamn right! Yeah, team hub complete. Weekly experience gain. Oh! So we're going to get just free, or well, I don't know if we get free experience game or just we get more of it. Still, that seems really valuable. And yeah, more attractiveness. Francesco Pizzi, up and coming driver. I wonder, is this a regen? He's only 51 right now. He's 17, he's got high growth potential. Interesting. Post-race overview. Special mention to Haas, who are meeting everyone's expectations. Currently in P6. Two points. Woohoo! Okay. Yeah, six overall. We go to Jeddah in two days. Or four days. Um, it's going to be a very different race. It's actually longer. Like, the sorry, each, each lap is longer because there's only 50 uh, laps. And the way that they're done is the race has to be 300 kilometers. And maybe a bit is the way it goes. So that's how they determine how many laps happen at each track, except for Monaco, because he goes too slow. But yeah, the goal is 300 kilometers for the race track length. Um, so yeah, each lap's gonna be a little bit longer here at Jeddah. This track braces it's not quite as high. I don't know if they do compounds the same way in this, or if the soft, medium, hard are, are more static. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Review or performance targets. Oh yeah, because we can set these, right? Again, I can make a guarantee. I can guarantee that it reached Q2. Whiskey and chocolate. I don't know. Ooh, whiskey and chocolate. Oh, there are 305 kilometers plus one lap. There you go. Thank you. Planko steals. Fire K Mag. Hashtag Emma forever. God damn it. So yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know what to do with these drivers. K Mag's nice and solid for now. I mean, Shumi's not that much worse, and, you know, he can grow. And he's freaking Mick Schumacher. <sighs> On the other hand, we did get some pretty good scouts. High growth potential. Uh, I think I'm developing two parts right now, and two is all I can do currently. Mick is pretty sick with Mick. Yeah, do they have marketability? Yeah, I don't think so, eh? Because that was one of the most important things in um, Motorsport Manager. More than, sometimes, more than their raw performance was their marketability. Got to bring in those sponsors, you know? It was critical. Duin, Piastri, and Auger. Some good options for replacements. It'll cost us nothing. Nothing to replace them. Calderon? I don't know. Scouting in progress on Piastri. Look, I do suspect it'll be pretty good, probably. Uh, nope, no one in no tease, unfortunately. 
Uh, let's deal with the filter here. Oh, there we go. Yes. Show me the youngins. You know, Tsunoda could also be kind of interesting. Although he's probably more expensive, because he's already got a contract, you know? Or chair. Yeah. Okay. We only scout two things at once, so we're doing that. Up. Wait, what? What? Deef! Thank you! The little coin sound's not loud. I gotta, I gotta pick a new, better sound for the gift subs. There's gotta be a proper gift sub hype message shit going on. And there's that message. Hey, Deef, thank you. Uh, hey, Quill, I want to thank you for all you do. Your program content was inspiring. Your gaming content helped me keep my sanity in college. I eventually had to stop watching because college equals busy. Yes. Uh, but I still think you were super influential in getting to me where I am today. I actually landed my dream dog last dream job last year. Sea Wrench, thank you. Thank you. Sea Wrench. Was that like a resub message? Wrench. I don't know what it means. Or Sea Wrench, your job. What's a Sea Wrench? I don't know what it is. I'm so confused, but thank you. Uh, just a heads up, all contract signing, even renewing, replace the current contract. So if you sign renew someone in the middle of the season, instead of applying the new contract at the end of the current one, counts the current season, the first new contract. Thank you. Rename regen driver to deep driving. Oh, yeah. Oh! Sea wrench! Oh! You work on Twitch? Wrench badge. Oh my god, that's freaking awesome! Holy cow! That's so cool! I wonder what it's like to work at Twitch. Huh. Well, next time we have a problem, we're gonna tell you about it. <laughs> File all complaints to Deep. Exactly. Exactly. Um, well, we are, we're going to be, we're not going to do any more racing here. Although we could look into starting out. Okay. Our development is still ongoing. We don't have that much money left. I mean, maybe we could do some more upgrade of places, but I don't know. I'm a little bit worried. 100% uh, accept all blame for everything we break. <laughs> I mean, we can continue to the start of the next race. 